Hi, first grade, we are gonna go over lesson 9-5, compare numbers on a number line. So the first thing that I wanna show you guys is this is my number line. So it starts at zero and it goes all the way to 100. And 50 is in the middle because 50 splits um, the number 100 in half, right? So when you are looking at from zero to 100, 50 is in that middle, it splits, 0 to 50 into one group, and then 50 to 100 into one group. So 50 is splitting 0 to 100. So our first problem is we're trying to figure out a number that is less than 33. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make um, tick marks of 10s on our chart. So we have 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. So our number that they gave us, so we don't even need, I don't even need to write all the other uh, tens, which I definitely could, which will go 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. But our number is 33 and we're trying to find a number that is less than 33. So I'm going to stop at 50 because we're going to be going, we're going to be trying to find a number that's less than 33. So on the chart, I'm going to put the number 33. So here is 30. And I'm going to put a little above, which is 33 right here, because this number is 35, because it goes 30, 35, 40. So I'm going to put our 33 and change that right in the middle of 30 and 35. So this is where a 33 is. 30. Three. All right, now we are trying to find a number that is less than 33. So we are going to look, we are going to go all look down here, right? We're going to look to the left of our horizontal number line. So you can think of any number. Think in your head, what's a number that's less than 33? And you can also use a number line to help. You could say, oh, you can even look at your tens first. 20 is less than 33. 10 less than 33. 30 is less than 33. You could write any of those numbers. Or you could even put, um, you could write 25 is less than 33. You could say 15 is less than 33. You could say 5 is less than 33. There's so many numbers that are less than 33. We just need to look. So you think of a number and it needs to be less than 33. So I think I'm going to go with the number 25. 25 is less than 33 because this is where 25 is on our number line and 33 is right here. So 25 is less than 33. You can also look at our place value like I did in the other lesson. So if you look at our um, tens place, we have three and two. Three has that greater value. Three tens is greater than two tens. So 25 is less than 33. You could also came up with 27, 17, 18, 19, 20. You could have done any of those numbers between 33 and zero to find what is less than 33. All right, now I want you guys to do this problem with me. So our problem is find a number greater than 67. So I'm gonna go ahead and put our tens in first and I want you to draw this out with me. So go ahead and draw out this number line because we're gonna do this problem together. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. All right, now I'm gonna put our number 67 on our number line. So remember, in between um, all these tens, there are five. So count it, you could count by five. So this is 65 right here. And so 67 is two above 65. So I'm gonna put 67 in between 65 and 70. All right, now we are trying to find a number that is greater than 67. So it could be any of these numbers to the right of our horizontal number line. So it could be 70, it could be 80, it could be 90, it could be 100, or it could be 75, it could be 85. 
It could be 95. So there's so many numbers that you could pick that are greater than 67. You could also think 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. So you could keep on going all the way up, but you just need to find a number that is greater than 67. And I think I'm going to go with the number 85. 85 is greater than 67. And we can also check our work by looking at our tens place. So looking at our tens place, we have eight tens in the number 85, and we have six tens in the number 67. So eight tens is greater than six tens, so we know our answer is correct. 85 is greater than 67. All right, last problem. I want you guys to do this one on your own. Um, you guys are going to be figuring out a number that is greater than 13. So pause the video, draw this out, and figure out a number that is greater than 13. Go ahead and press play when you are ready um, to do this problem with me. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do this problem together. First, I'm going to write out my tens on our number line. 50, 60, 70, 80. 90. All right, let's go ahead and put 13 on our number line. So this is the number 10 right here, and 3 is 10 more, or 3 is, or 13 is 3 more than 10. There you go. So this is our number 15, remember, counting by fives. So 13 would be in between 10 and 15. So I'm going to put 13 right here. And we're trying to find a number that is greater than 13. So we're going to go to the right of our horizontal number line. So you could pick the number 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. You could pick any of those numbers or you could pick any of the numbers that aren't even counting by fives. You could do 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and keep on counting up. You can pick any of those numbers. All they need to do is be to the right of the number 13 on our number line. So I think I'm going to pick the number 66. That's going to be my number. 66 is greater than 13. We can check our work by looking at our tens place. So we have a six tens in 66 and one ten in the number 13. So we know six tens is greater than one ten. So our answer is correct. 66 is greater than 13. All right, guys, I hope that helped. I'll see you guys later. Bye.